everybody, this is Dominic Kirchner. I'm here with my business partner, Matt Kearney. We are Hamden Home Buyers. It's been a while since you've seen us, so I'm sorry about that. We just want to take you through 37 Mansfield Street. We've had a lot of progress since, uh, since the work started over here. It's been a couple of months. We'll take a quick shot around side, and then Matt Kearney is going to be taking you on the inside. Come on with us. Hey, it's Matt Kearney with Hamden Home Buyers here. We're in the backyard now. Uh, here with our contractor, Jason. He's doing a great job for us. Um, we're working on our 10th dumpster right here. Uh, the inside was gutted out, so that left a lot of debris. You can see right behind us is his lift that he's using to do the roof and the siding. And uh, check out the new siding. It looks excellent. The windows, we got all the aluminum, uh, all the aluminum wrap. The new roof is on, and uh, it's coming right along. Let's go inside. Okay, here we are inside the first floor unit. The everything has been gutted out. New windows are in. The fr framing's up, rough electric is in. We're gonna have a new panel inside each unit on all three floors. You can see the panels are in. We're gonna come back here into the kitchen. What used to be the kitchen, all the rough plumbing is in here. Some of the new electrical boxes being run, new wiring. And in here, this is gonna be the, be the bathroom. Only the tub is in so far. But once it's sheet rocked, we'll finish this up. Have a look at one of the bedrooms. Not, not too much to look at right now, but. All right, we're gonna go upstairs. Have a look up there. Hey everybody, we're up here on the second floor of Mansfield. As you can see again, just like Matt said downstairs, the plumbing is, uh, most of the plumbing's been done, the rough plumbing. You see a lot of the electrical's already been done too. I think they're pretty close to, uh, to ready for a rough inspection. Electrical is running overhead here. They're doing a really great job banging this out. You can see there's going to be three bedrooms. One here off the bedroom. Circle around. We've got another the pantry here. Second bedroom, third and fourth bedroom. The great thing about when you when you look into these sites as they're being done is you can see through the walls, really see you know the bones of the property, see what's happening to it, and see how, how everything's going to be coming together. So we're going to take you through real quick on the third floor where Jason's going to talk about all the challenges he had up there. All right, we decided to skip over the third floor and just come right up here to the fourth floor, also known as the attic. I'm going to give the camera to Jason. He's going to go over all the little challenges that we had up here. So here you go. All right, so as Dominic said, we had some interesting challenges on this property. First and foremost, the roof in the center of the house along the chimney here had sagged. I had to jack the entire roof back up approximately seven inches or so to get it back in line with the rest of the house. What had happened is the roof, the original roof, was here with an additional four layers of shingles on top of it. So all the weight of all those shingles and the years of snow and other weather had dropped the roof down, taken these hip rafters, and actually pushed the exterior walls of the house out in all four corners where the hips came down. This wall here, which Dominic is painting to, was actually pushed out three and a half inches. To give you an idea, uh, the old six inch spikes that we use, none of those spikes were touching anymore. So what we did is we jacked up each hip at one time to raise the entire roof up, tied everything back together with some new lumber, put some supports in to make it stable so that we can re-shingle the roof. We stripped the entire roof, resheathed it first, and put all brand new shingles. On a separate note, the front porch, which you could probably see from the original shot, that roof was falling away from the house as well. We used that come along that you see still attached to suck that whole roof back in. That roof had pulled away from the house itself a good three and a half inches. So we used the lift that was in the shop before along with the come along to bring that in and actually make it structurally sound. Not your typical type of rehab, but fun nonetheless. All right, thank you very much, Jason. Uh, that's about it for now. We'll see you on the next video.